The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is recommending people get a COVID-19 booster shot. For many, that may be the same time they get a flu shot. Until a few months ago, scientists didn't want the two vaccines to overlap, but primary care physician Dr. Amy Crawford Foyche says people can now get their flu shot and COVID booster around the same time. Because we were just rolling this out to lots of people, we really wanted to be pure in knowing that if you had a reaction, it was due to the COVID vaccine and not from something else. Experts warn against skipping the flu shot, saying it's not likely that we'll see another winter with low flu cases. We were working from home or doing school from home. We were limiting the number of contacts that we had and we were all masking. Now, obviously, that has changed and will probably remain changed going into this winter. Doctors advise scheduling both shots in whatever order works best for your schedule. And there are more questions surrounding booster shots, too. Do we need them? And when? And are they effective against the Delta variant? CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez has some answers. Based on how long immunity lasts to other coronavirus vaccines, vaccine experts have presumed that we would eventually need booster shots to maintain effective immunity to the constantly developing variants of COVID-19. Federal regulators are considering approving a COVID-19 booster shot starting as soon as five months after the previous dose. It's not clear why five months rather than the eight-month gap previously announced, other than they expect to have ample supply of the vaccine by then, and new data from Israel indicate a booster dose provided four times as much protection against infection from the Delta variant than the previous two-dose regimen in people 60 and older. The booster dose also provided five to six times more efficacy in preventing hospitalization or serious illness. As for effectiveness with a third booster dose, Pfizer has reported that the level of neutralizing antibodies after that booster was more than three times that generated after that two-dose regimen. And those higher levels provided significantly greater protection against the original virus, as well as the beta and delta variants. Similar enhancement in immunity is expected with the virtually identical Moderna vaccine. On Wednesday, J&J &J said a second dose of its vaccine also generated a stronger immune response. Just a booster shot of their vaccine as well. These are the same formulas as the first shots. Because mixing and matching vaccine brands has not been studied, approval for that strategy is unlikely for now, especially for getting a Moderna or Pfizer booster after a J&J &J shot. Booster shots have been approved for people age 65 and older and people with compromised immune systems. More tweaks to those approvals are expected as the FDA evaluates data submitted by manufacturers. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.